All right, here we are at another one in the basement, trying to do some arc. So we have Reed there, Sam's pulling it back there. So we have an 85 inch Sony here again, X91J I believe. We got the uh, sound bar under there. You probably can't even tell because it's custom made. I think it's an X80. Yeah, it could be. So we've got this under here. So that's what it looks like. It's our James loudspeaker, SPL5. QLCR. We've got the paradigms up here. P65Rs again. This one is going to be a cool thing. I really like this. This is the first one I've sold. It's the Seismic 110, I want to say. Let's see if we can get some light on there for you. It's really cool looking sub. Ridges on there and rocks. It rocks really good. <clears throat> Actually shakes the couch if you want it to. We've got some uh, wires back there to clean up, and there's some knobs back there. And they, uh, got this on, so I'm not gonna get too crazy. Thanks, Sam. Okay, so we've got the mic up here. This is just the setup you guys always see us use. USB. It's actually a USB-C mic now, it used to be a USB mini. So we basically plug that in. Start with Arc, Genesis. See all the games that we play here. We'll launch Arc. And, why is it not finding my receiver? Uh-oh. There it is. Something happened, I think the internet got rebooted. So we'll go into here. And so we'll get internet back here in a minute. So basically these are our, our speakers. You tell it what you have. You can do, you know, height if you want to, front or back, height location, you can change. This is measurement A right here. So we've got our five speakers. You can turn on backs if you have backs, which we don't. Subwoofers just gives you one or none, although there's two outputs on the back of the anthem. You can do measurement B, you can do a lot of different measurements for different profiles. You can set like, you know, one profile will be for the front row, one profile is for the back row. So basically once we get all that set up, we just say continue here. Tell it we have our mic. And let's see if we can get you a straighter shot on the screen there. So now it wants us to go to position one. So we need to put this over here. So let's jump position one on the couch here soon. So we basically want to have this thing pretty much right where their head's going to be. They're taller than I am, so it's kind of the middle of the couch here. So that's going to be position one. And then we just start here, so this is when we have to be quiet. Ooh, this boot's causing problems. Okay, so let's see here. So now we just hit start. Are right, you guys ready? So it's telling us our sub is too high, so we need to turn that down. You want to turn that down a little bit, Sam, maybe like a quarter turn. That's such a powerful sub, it's way, way above our graph right here. <laughs> so it makes sure that you, uh, you know, don't have it up too loud. All right, ready, you think? Yep. All right, so now we just hit resume. So that's done. And so there's going to be like four other positions on the side of this couch here. And then uh, we'll bring it back so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Okay, so we just did position one. We're moving to position two right here. 
<clears throat> so you can see what it measured on position one. You can see the left rear is really high. Right rear is pretty high. Left rear is like in a corner back here. So that's why it's like that. And the sub was pretty high, so we had to turn it down. So here's position two. Wow, you can tell that's really high right there. The high frequencies are pretty high. It's, the mic is right under it too, of course, but we'll do the rest of them and bring you guys back. All right, we just finished all five locations. You can do more if you want to also as well. I'm just gonna upload this to our processor. And now the sound has been corrected. So you can see Here's the front left curve that you got there. Combined measurement is red, target is black, and green is the arc adjustment. And hopefully you can see the colors there. So you don't want this jaggedness. You want it to be nice and flat so everything is equal. You don't want to have one speaker to have more highs and more bass than the other one. Front right. So I did some good corrections there. Because the combined was definitely out of their target curve and the uh, arc adjustment. You can see the arc adjustment brought this down to bring the curve in. Because it saw it was too high. There's the surround left. Surround right. And the subwoofer. So I usually like to look at this too. You can see like the curved viewer here. So this is the front left for profile one because you can make multiple profiles. So you can have like, you know, one for a different type of listening position and things like that. So let's turn these off here and we'll turn them on. All right, so this is the measurements that we got. You can see it's all over the place there. Let's go over here. Combined measurement. Combined measurement with level adjustment. And there's a combined measurement. Show combined measurement with level adjustment and base management. Show target curve. So let's do this. So this is the combined measurement unaltered. Here's the target curve. There's the corrected curve. Arc adjustments equalization curve. So you can see how they brought this down. So this is lower because you know that's just where it measured at, but if you move this up, it's actually what you'll see there. So you can see how they corrected everything here. That's really cool. Let's see this here. It's kind of how to navigate. I'm trying to look at the screen here. So that's all measurements unaltered. But yeah, that's a real quick overview. That's why we love the Anthem MRX 540 and Sub 40.